Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to generate a sequence in Power BI and then use that sequence to do a what if analysis. So let's get started. As usual, I've uploaded a file onto GitHub. The name of the file is DAX generate series function Power BI dot PBIX. I will leave a link to the GitHub repository and the file name in the video notes. So I've also got this uh, function that we will use open here. It is called the generate series function. And you just type in generate series, you give the start value, the end value and the value by which you want it to be incremented. So let's get started. I've got the Power BI desktop open here with me. I go to the modeling tab and click on new table. And we'll generate the series, but we'll call it what if analysis. And we will call, we will use generate series function. We'll call it. And it says the start value. So I will type in minus one to one. And I will say, give me an increment of dot one. And I'll hit enter. So if we go to the data tab, you can see that it has incremented. So it starts with minus one and it goes all the way to one. And it's generated a sequence for us. I wonder what's going on here. It's an interesting number, but um, let's go back and um, Something I wanted to point out. So we've generated this and the file size has not increased that much. But you have to be careful when you use the generate series function because it generates unique values and tabular model is not great at saving unique values. So for example, if I just say minus, I'm saying minus 1 million to 1 million with an increment of 1 and I hit enter, for example. <coughs> Excuse me. And if I save this file, and let's go and refresh this, you can see the file size has become 25 MB. So it has almost increased the file size tenfold. Any case, we don't need uh, this, so we will just say minus one. To one. With an increment of 0.1. And let's just go and look at the data again. It's interesting here, I thought it would make it zeros. These two numbers are a little weird for me. Uh, to understand but in any case we will just save this and if you go and have a look at the size again it has gone down to 2.5 mb again in any case let's go back to uh, the report view got this fact internet sales table and i've created a measure here called uh, total sales which is the sum of the sales amount which is a column here This column so we will just create this measure we'll create a new measure in this table and we'll call it what if measure variable and we will just say max of what if analysis value so and this is the variable which we will use for uh, do, uh, changing the values or doing a what if analysis so this is the first variable which we create and the second variable we will create is let's say we want to calculate the profit or how much profit can we make on a certain sales amount 
profit amount is equal to um, sales amount sorry total sales into what if measure variable and this looks fine to me what I will now do is I will go down and select this what if so so I will select the profit amount and let's take this out and I will also select the total sales and they seem to be the same. Why is that? Because what we've said is that the profit is equal to the max of this value, which is one. I will just convert it into a slicer. You can see that it can go between minus one and one, but at the moment it is on one. And for example, if I say, um, give me by calendar year, they are the same. But what if I want to see the profit amount and profit amount is let's say what, 10%? Uh, of the total sales. So this is the profit we've made. So on a sale of 3266373 we made a profit of 326637 so yeah and let's say if we increase it the profit amount keeps increasing so the profit is 0.65 of the total sales so we can do this sort of analysis and what if we made a negative of maybe 0 0.01. So you can see this is this, this becomes a negative amount. And let's say we made some more losses. So we can we can just move this around to see how much we are expected to make during any given period. So this is an interesting way to do a what if analysis using the generate sequence. We will just go through what we did. So we created a what if analysis table using the generate series function. So we said it can have value between minus one and one with an increment of dot one. Then we went to the fact internet sales table and created a measure, what if measure variable, which gives us the max value of the value from generate series and we use that to calculate the profit amount which is total sales into what if measure variable so uh, this is one way to do what if analysis and also uh, to generate a random series in uh, power bi in this video, we learned how to generate a series in Power BI using the generate series function and to do a quick what if analysis uh, using the sequence we've generated. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thank you.